assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so here we will discuss about the non metallic character or the electronegative character of the non metals basically when we talk about the electronegative character it just simple comprise up to gain the electrons electrons not so non metallic character is the tendency of an atom to accept the electron when an one atom is going to gain the electron after gaining of electron it changes into the simple anion and anions are basically negatively charged ions so how do an atom just gain the electron this character is known as the electronegative character or this is also known as the non metallic character of that atom and this is the main character of the non metals they can gain the electrons and change into the anions now when they are going to make up the anions why do they make the anions the question arises over there basically when we have the simple structure of an atom in the central part there is a nucleus and outside there are circular orbits in these circular orbits there are the electrons an atom contain equal number of protons and equal number of the electrons so the number of positively charged ions or the positive particles is equal to the negative particles but when an atom just gains the electron more so the negative charge increases and the protons number decreases so that's why it acquires the negative charge over this which is upon the anions on the other hand a lot of non metals are present in the periodic table in which this is the hydrogen the non metal and all these in the yellow color we have these are non metals and among all these non metals the group 8a these are basically noble gases and the carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine phosphorus sulfur chlorine selenium bromine iodine these all are the non metals and among all these non metals the fluorine is most reactive and it is having its electronegative character higher when we move from top to bottom in the group or left to right so we will learn about the non metallic character whether it is going to increase or whether it is going to decrease so the trend of electronegative character in the group and in the period it is very simple so basically we talk about the groups and we talk about here the periods the groups are basically from top to bottom and the periods are basically from left to right in the periodic table so when we move from top to bottom in the group we just have a simple example like fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine these are found in the combined state fluorine to iodine as the atomic size increases so the attraction for the added electrons decreases it's been the electronegative character it decreases down the group when we move from top to bottom but on the other hand when we talk about it in the periods so in the periodic table here the first group is the 1a the group 2a these are the metals and when we move from left to right we are moving from metals towards the non metals it's mean in the periods the metals are diminishing and the non metals are going to be shown over there so their electronegative character also increases because the metals just lose the electrons but on the other hand the non metals can gain the electrons so their non metallic in turn metallic character it will be increases from left to right in the period on the other hand we can also say that when we move from bottom to the towards the top the non metallic character also increases in the periodic table so this is a simple trend of electronegative character we can also have the examples likewise if we talk about the carbon oxygen and the fluorine so the which one will be the more electronegative because when you move from left to right the electronegative character 
increases so the fullerene will be more electronegative as compared to the oxygen and the oxygen will be more electronegative as compared to the carbon but on the other hand when we have a comparison along the group fluorine chlorine bromine we have iodine so here from top to bottom the electronegative character decreases so fluorine will be more electronegative as compared to the chlorine bromine and iodine and iodine will be the least reactive among all these three halogens so this is a simple trend after discussing this trend we have the different examples in which the first part of the periodic table it is consisting of metals and the second part is consisting of the non metals the metals just have the properties to lose electrons but these non metals have the properties to gain the electrons and to lose the electrons this character of the metals is known as their metallic character on the other hand the non metals can gain the electrons there this property is known as the non metallic character likewise the metallic character is also known as the electro positive character and the non metallic character is also known as the electro negative character likewise if we talk about the oxygen as it gains two electrons and changes into the anion like to minus and the chlorine it can gains one electron and changes into the chlorine negative so these two are called as the electronegative in nature because they can gain the electron and make up the anions and these anions are just formed for one thing which is to gain the stability to gain the stability the non metals just gain their electrons and changes up into the anion so this was a simple overview about the electronegative character of the non metals i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and i will get back to you guys soon the next topic that we will discuss it is the group 8a elements in detail for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day